Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss report tooltip page. Basically, what you can do is you can have a page of your own choice. And that's what we are going to do that we are going to create a page of our own choice in report tooltip so let's begin so i go to page i i create a page let me have some visual on this let me have a brand and net visual on it okay and let me make it as a bar visual okay now what i want on this visual when i go to the tooltip i see this net and if i not need additional one i can drag like you know margin percentage here on the tooltip so it will also show me margin percentage but sometime what you ask that i want to show another visual on it and that visual should contain something additional okay so what we can do is we can call it a, let's say base page and then we are going to go and create a tooltip page so we call it as tool tip one now to create a tooltip page the thing which you need to go is click on the empty place on the page and then you go to the page information and then you say allow to use as tooltip and the moment you do it you get a smaller size page now uh, power bi allows you to do go and you know change its setting uh, so this is right now tooltip you can create it as big as possible but i'm going to keep it small so that you know it's it's easily you know identifiable as a tooltip uh, whenever it comes in now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table and the reason I'm creating a table because I want to show you one feature uh, that it's getting filtered out or not. So I bring in brand here and you can see that this little bit large here and then I bring in category here and then I want to bring net here. And this is really large font so what I can do is I can click on this table and I go to the properties. And I can search for font. So let me reduce the font little bit. Uh, let me make it 12. Seems better. Now what I need to go, I will go to my base page. And here in the base page, I go ahead and click on the visual. And I go to in the journal, in the new, uh, newer uh, pane, you have this journal. Under the journal, this is tooltip. It's already on. And you open and the, you will see this option default and report page. We'll open report page. And by default, it is a report page. Still, it's not showing. And auto. And when this is auto, there is no page selected. You can select a tooltip page. Now, the page which you see here are the page which we have made in the canvas as tooltip page. So now I got a tooltip here. And if I now go here, you see this one. Now you see brand 8 is getting filtered. Now let's do one more thing. Now let's make it as a table visual. And add year to this one. From the date table. After the brand year. Now, year will also get filtered out, isn't it? Let's see, does it get filtered out? So, in this one also, let's add year. Okay. And let's, for simplicity right now, remove the category. So, we just, so whatever brand it is, we want to see that, isn't it? So, I go here, and now if I go here, Let me see the tooltip under the properties. Tooltip got switched off. I am switching it on again. And let me go and check it out. Now you see only one row. And the reason why I have done it like this, that let's suppose I have this one, but I want to ignore this. I want to ignore brand. 
And the reason I'm keeping brand here, I just want to show you that it is getting filtered. Now then how do I do that? So for that, let's go to the tooltip page. And here again, we see one thing, keep all filters and I switch it off. And then let me go back here and you see every brand and everything. Now it's not passing anything. So we go here and tell this page, okay, you don't have to take everything from there, but you have to take brand. So brand, you take it. Okay, now we go here. And now you can see that we are getting brand, but the ear is not filtered. Now I'm going to modify this visual a little bit now. So let me remove ear from here. And I go to the tooltip page and from there, in the from the tooltip page, this table, I remove brand. Now this is what ideally you wanted. But even if it is ear is here, now even if ear is here in this visual now, let's go back and add it here. Even if ear is here in this visual, we don't want it to get filtered. So that was the situation where you want the ear split. Now we do have ear here and still we want to see all the ears. For that brand, we can also do it in tooltip. So we can ignore certain filters. By default, everything will get passed. We can switch it off. Nothing will get passed. And we can now selectively enable what all we wanted to pass. But once you enable, you have to give everything what you wanted to pass. Okay. If your table has 100 columns and you want to pass all those 100 columns, you have to drag there also. So be careful about that. So let me know your feedback on this particular video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.